What is up, my NFL 25 gamers? In today's episode of Tip of the Week, we're going to be taking a look at the best pass defense in Madden NFL 25. A lot of you guys, uh, a lot of guys are struggling stopping the run this year, but I think that that's something that we discussed a, a couple times so far this season, and I wanted to focus a little bit more on how to stop the pass, and, and, and obviously this play, uh, obviously you need some adjustments and things like that, but the idea here today is to show you the best base pass defense in Madden NFL 25. Um, so the best pass defense is once again this year uh, comes to us from the nickel 335 uh, normal formation, and uh, the play that we're going to be looking at is the two man under. And this play just it really is um, just a luxury because this blitz angle you see from Briggs is not like any other blitz angle in the game. There's only one other blitz angle that is similar, and that is the edge sting from the 4-3 under. And you see that wherever I put him, it never changes. And so at the snap of the ball, we're going to watch him here. You'll see he gets a little turbo and like a wide angle to the quarterback and just really can break block sheds and stuff like that very quickly. So we can use that to build pressure and also to build pass coverage. So one of the things I really like to do uh, with this formation is I will shift my linebackers to the left. I'll crash my defensive line out. I'll re-blitz Julius Peppers. I'll quarterback spy the defensive tackle over the center. And then I will put McClellan in a purple zone. And you can flip this play. So, for example, if, if I'm on, the reason I set it up that way is for a situation where I would be on the left hash so that the right hash would be the wide side of the field so that I know that that's where I need to build my coverage up. And then so I'll just put that there like that. And then I can just use her whoever I want. So I could use her the middle linebacker if I wanted to watch out for the running back. I could use her as safety. I could use her this safety. I could manually cover the tight end. Whatever I want to do, it doesn't affect the blitz, which is another great asset to why I think this is the best pass defense in the game. And here you'll see uh, when we snap the ball, the pressure doesn't always come in off that edge. But you see the pressure will block shed, and it will always come in. That time he got a little tripped up, but... Typically, if you put your best pass rusher at that blitz angle, so here with the Chicago Bears, we're going to sub in Julius Peppers there. Uh, for the Seattle Seahawks, you might consider Bruce Irvin or Chris Clemens. Uh, just RB sub them in. Um, then you are going to have a really actually a pretty good pass defense uh, with the right adjustments to your to your lineup here. So, uh, like maybe we put the young left in for De uh, De Bears, um Washington there. And then, you know, you can just sub, sub in whoever you want. And the Bears have a lot of really good uh, user control players. And then, like I said, you know, just depending on what hash mark they're on is going to depend on if you flip it or not. And it's the same setup. It's just flipped it. So, for example, if I wanted to send it from the right side, then I would just flip the play. And, I would only, and the only time I would send it from the right is if in a situation where they're in the right hash so that the left side would be the wide side of the field. So here... I'll flip the play at the play call screen that makes the blitz thing will come over here. And then I will shift my linebackers to the right. I'll crash my D-line out, re-blitz Briggs, and do the same adjustments. And now we have the same coverage, but now we're strong to the right or to the left side of the field instead of the right side. And there you see the pressure. You see how fast it comes in there. Uh, it's just a matter of time before the block shed will get there for a second. The cool part is you can really depend on it uh, because it's going to get in eventually. It's going to force them um, to roll. And then, you know, you don't have to put the guy in a purple zone on the left. You can put him in a contain. You can do whatever you want. Depending on what type of offense you're facing, that's all adjustments that are based off of your discrepancy. And the same thing with the quarterback spy. It's not vital to the pressure. And this is basically just a max coverage defense. Now, one way we can make this blitz better, uh, if we want to, is the same adjustments on the D-line. But instead of shifting the linebackers to the left, we're going to shift them to the right now so that it looks like we're sitting off the right. But then we'll grab... Peppers, manually move him in line with this blitz angle, click off of him, grab onto the middle linebacker, and here you'll see the pressure comes in not as fast, you know, not as always as clean as I would like it to come in, but it does come in, and that's the thing. With this being a really good pass miss, because you're only sending two people at the quarterback, you have everybody else in coverage, and you can really, it's a consistent pressure that can't be slide protected, it can't be stopped, because it's basically just an automatic block shed. It's almost what we're trying to generate here by moving him out so wide. So that's why I think that this is the best pass defense, because two-man under is obviously the best type of pass defense you can get this year. The man coverage um, is actually pretty effective. It can bump receivers at the line of scrimmage and different things like that so that they can't you know, destroy us over the top because we have a two-deep safety. And also because we have the 
really good trail coverage technique of press on the outside so we can use it to our advantage and then we can adjust so one thing I like to do out of this is is I'll set the pressure up but then I'll zone out everybody who wouldn't be pressing so here we pr uh, we zone out like this put everybody a hook now we still have a good coverage um, and now it opens up you know things that we can use or control different things like that and that's where you start to make this defense really effective when you start making adjustments out of two men under because the main key to two men under is the press on the outside is that you're going to get to stop you know those quick quick routes like slants and ends and stuff like that so basically we're just using the two man under because it's the best base coverage and then we're just adjusting out of it so here we can make like a zone look to the right um, and then something like this and now everybody's manned up at the tight end and depending on what play they're on, that could actually be a good coverage. So, you know, obviously there is no set play that's going to lock up everything in, on defense this year. And we, we've seen that. And But I think as a base pass defense, if you know they're going to come out and air it out on you, uh, five wide style attack, I think there's no better base pass defense in the game than the two-man under for the nickel 335 because there's a lot of things you can do to adjust. So, like, we could also globally zone the linebackers. And then banner line, and now we can use that really good trick that we learned. Um, we've been learning, talking about all season with the uh, base line or the man line technique to get the yellows to play really wide, and um, you know get out there on things like out routes and curl routes. So it's all you know, it's all adjustments, guys. But as a basic principle, as a, as a starting point, uh, I think there's no better blitz than this. Uh, well, not even a blitz. There's no better pass defense than this two man under, guys. It's really effective. And, uh, you know, sometimes your guy, and actually in-game, sometimes your guy will come in a little bit more often untouched, uh, depending on, you know, if you do the setup just correct. So, um, anyways, guys, this is the best base pass defense I can tell. Um, another good pass defense I, w I do want to focus on that real quick, and this is mainly because of, like, you see that he just glued everything, like the man, the man coverage this year. But if you know they're throwing the football, uh, one of the better pass coverages in the game actually comes from the 4-4 defense. Um, and this is uh, something I've been working on. Uh, it just kind of came to me one night while I was going through practice mode and just kind of labbing up some, just kind of practicing really. And, and this, this pass defense is not a, an end-all, be-all. This is just a max coverage defense I think is very effective in this game. So it's the, it's the dog zone blitz. And basically all you're going to do is you're going to globally zone your linebackers. You're going to man a line. And you're going to baseline press, spread line backers to make it all look the same as if you were sending pressure. And this is just a very effective coverage defense, guys. They they jump things. The yellow zones are very effective. Um, sometimes they'll pick them. They'll pick different routes. Uh, one thing also I've noticed is if you shade coverage out, because we remember last year we would shade coverage down for inverted cover too, but if you shade coverage out, it affects more than just the deep blue zones. It also affects the way the yellow zones play the outside because they see I shaded them out that time and Jamal Harrison actually played that curl route. So depending on how you adjust the coverage, it all it all affects the, the effectiveness of it. And I think that this is a really effective basic coverage defense because you're using the middle of the field and then you get everything you need to take away that outside area. Um, so... Anyways, guys, that these are the two best pass defenses in Madden from 25, in my opinion. Uh, some of you guys may have different thoughts. I know a lot of people are liking the 155 uh, this season, and, and some some other guys are liking the 34. But in terms of a basic pass defense to fill out your opponent and everything that really glues to the ball, I think you can't find anything better than the nickel 335 two man under. Leave your feedback below, guys. If you think that this you know this tip helped you out, I really would appreciate a a favorite or a like rating and a retweet on Twitter. And if it didn't help you out, you don't like the tip, then let me know what you think the best pass fence is in Madden NFL 25. Also, guys, if you're new to this YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe because we have daily videos such as Blitz of the Day, Scheme of the Weeks, and different things like that to help you improve in Madden NFL 25. Thanks for watching today. I hope you guys, I hope you guys stay for more videos.